great pleasure. We'll continue to build greater engagement. Very, very excited about our new journey. Honored to be awarded trust in the employees. I think it's important that companies create a very safe working environment where talents can grow, explore. I think this is really a testament of the company moving in the right direction. The bar is going to be higher, but this will only encourage us to strive even further. We strive to provide our employee with the best experience. A great employee experience leads to a great client experience. Only with a strong and committed team would we be able to achieve our business goals. The HR Asia Best Companies to Work For stands for Workplace Excellence and Employee Engagement. Since 2013, winning organizations have placed their employees front and center in everything they do. This year is no different. In this special year, their CPNs have shown they are more than just a good workplace, and they're able to show empathy and genuine care for their employees during their darkest moments of fear and uncertainty. That makes them the best companies to work for in Asia. My name is Harjit and you're watching Indonesia's HR Asia Best Companies to Work for in Asia 2020. <music> 2020 has been described as a year of unprecedented challenges. The COVID-19 pandemic has wrecked havoc across the world. Nations have closed their borders, streets are deserted, supply chains have slowed to a crawl, and businesses have shut their doors. Jobs are under threat like never before. As we settle into the new normal, we must not forget those who are most affected by the pandemic, our employees and their families who depend on them to survive. Let us also remember the sacrifice made by the employees to keep the economy going, as they are our frontliners who fought and continue to fight this battle against the pandemic. This year, the HR Asia Best Companies to Work For in Asia recognizes these frontliners who are our employees, our colleagues, our friends. Here we pay tribute to the companies that care and uncover the story behind their challenges. We'll hear the stories of fear and despair. We'll also hear of stories of strength and perseverance, ingenuity and hope, and the extraordinary lengths that employers have taken to make life more meaningful for their employees. 2020, a year of unprecedented challenges, a year of lockdowns, disruptions and disease. Offices and factories shut down, livelihoods and jobs affected people become virtual prisoners in their homes combining job and family in a work-life experiment on a grand scale covid 19 pandemic has put the global trading system through its most dramatic tests in the last 75 years a lot of infrastructures closes quarantine of vessels volatile swings between over demands and oversupply as well as raw material shortages that we've seen in some part of the world. Global economic inequality is now being felt. A deep global recession has started in several countries. The biggest challenge in Indonesia itself is layoff that continue to increase. Our travel industry and also hospitality industry is got uh, hit worse by this pandemic, right? And following with the business continuity, uh, the other issue for us also is how we manage the employee engagement, employee productivity during this uh, period of time. At first, it is difficult to manage personal and work in the new normal because sometimes you have endless virtual meetings and there's no boundary even with your family's activities because you work from home and everyone work from home. And it also depends on good internet connectivity and we had to get to use to discuss with our customer and vendor virtually. Well, not everyone is not digital savvy. A lot of people are working from home, are on Zoom calls, uh, are working odd hours, um, have to manage all the challenges that exist even in the family, uh, separated from families in a few cases. 
and still have to focus and deliver. Uh, so this new way of working and ensuring that efficiencies uh, remain with this new style of working uh, has been a bigger, has been a challenge. This is an unprecedented crisis. Most employers were taken by surprise by the magnitude of the pandemic. But if employers are overwhelmed by the speed and extent of the crisis, imagine the fear and despair it must have been for the employees. But the human spirit is far stronger than a pandemic. We have embraced social distancing and working from home, while companies have found ways to prioritize the well-being of their employees in inspiring ways. Because of the drop of the demand, the whole organizations have to adapt to the situations. I think the way we work is definitely changed. There's a lot of big things came up from the pandemic actually, so I didn't see a challenge. I see a lot of learning over there. We are the one of the first companies that uh, declare the work from home uh, within the Jakarta community. Even that it is before the full, uh, full semi-lockdown is uh, going on because they have to work from home. They have to utilize the internet and also to support their communication. So we provide a special allowance for that. We managed to implement split operation to ensure safe working arrangements that include shifting working hours, personal protective equipment with physical distancing, and also additional compensation for accommodation such as transportation, lunch, and vitamins. With many of our employees working uh, in clinical settings, because we're working uh, in the healthcare market, right? Then we immediately made sure that our field-based employees were equipped with the proper or necessary PPE so that they can work as safely as possible. The guidelines were also created uh, for them to understand more how to properly use the PPE and uh, work safely in every environment. We have spent 4.9 billion to provide uh, health facilities such as mask, hand and sanitizer, thermal gun, and also perform rapid and swab tests for our employees. Besides that, our board of management is very, very concerned about the, the uh, development of this survivor and continuously give their support to this survivor uh, directly. We shared with the employees right in the beginning a slew of new products that we wanted to launch, you know, which would help sustain the business during the current pandemic, things like, you know, antiseptic related, antibacterial related products. I think this overall gave a lot of confidence to the team and also helped maintain the employee morale even in a very tough situation. We share a lot of uh, uh, digital initiatives, yeah, uh, during uh, this pandemic, yeah. We show to our employees that we really committed to build our capabilities in digitalization. So we engage also our employees to be part of our digitalization project. Almost all employees were working from home now, uh, as AIA had been ready with the technology infrastructure, facilitating a smooth transition in working process. With the company doing all it can to survive, employees had their fears and uncertainties. As caring employers, companies embarked on several campaigns to ensure that their employees' livelihoods were secured and their fears allayed. In this period of time, it is normal for employees to be worried about the company and their jobs. Therefore, we encourage our leaders to be open and actively hear and communicate the aspiration of employees. Our top management has conveyed a statement by announcing that the firm has taken all necessary action to conserve cash, protect the job of our people, and ensure the sustainability of our business for the foreseeable future. Kagil also has been very transparent during this time, whether through town hall, whether through a group discussions, and giving about the business update, what are our business situations during this pandemic? We have to understand that this is, this is the unprecedented, right? And we are all in this together. We engage our associated company who is in the healthcare sector to work together 
to provide the WHO proven information right to be shared with with the employees we have 15 new initiatives that we introduced during this uh, COVID-19 pandemic we call it care program it is basically a holistic program aimed to maintain and improve our employees well-being either body mind and soul we introduced COVID-19 benefit do including partnership with leading online medical provider we provide counseling and medical service uh, for employee we encourage them at this company, especially human capital management. We are always present to support them to keep productive, although most of them we are working at home. When almost 7 million uh, employees, both in formal and informal sector in the country, lost their job or less their business, it's only natural that our employees also having some concern. But that's exactly the reason why we are talking about engagement, making sure that we are proactively engaging our employees rather than waiting for them asking questions. So we proactively come to them and provide information, updates, and making sure that they feel that they're part of the company and feel still connected with the companies. majority of our team here are very young population uh, so we have to follow their lifestyle and clearly one is that we have to follow the platform that they use the most they would like to have a high engagement high participation uh, sense of belonging to the uh, company as well as to what we do so we believe that social media will actually fit the best in terms of creating uh, that goal we are also creating a group chat where people are participating very lively uh, with their ideas, uh, sharing their achievements, sharing the updates, even you know competitors uh, uh, movement and so on. So we are creating that as a community and that community sense is becoming much more important during the work from home situation because we are not physically meeting each other. So we need to reconnect and then we still maintain that community sense together as a strong community. In our insight for Nakama itself, where a lot of the followers are also uh, Nakamas, uh, we also wanted to give an encouragement because sometimes when they hear and they see stories about how other nakamas are living and going through this tough time, they actually do get inspired. Like some of our nakamas really embrace it even when they're working from home, how they really evolve in their working way, making home to be so comfortable and again being able to sharing some tips and tricks in just how they can manage work with uh, kids at home or manage work when they're alone. Also, we discover a lot of uh, uh, new ways, uh, new working styles, uh, tips and tricks from a, from a lot of uh, our nakamas. And hence, it's important that we show them that it's possible. It's important that we encourage them through real stories because those are what that is relevant and at the same time able to at least be meaningful to a lot of our nakama. We found out there's, there's so many things that can be done uh, well uh, through, through video conference. And the WHO announced it in, on the 11th of March Basically, all our plan, you know, we have to redo, right? So this is the first time that we do our strategy planning. Up to 360 hours we spend, you know, through through breakout session. We find a different kind of bonding, you know, because at that moment it was also the the, the, the fasting month. So we we actually did fasting together, you know, in a way, right? And then we open fast together. So I think it, was, it, it, it is a very nice memory. I think you, you, can, you cannot play that back. See, it was that moment that I feel that the bonding, it was amazing, I can say. What I learned uh, from employee during this situation is uh, our failures. As our target failures really uh, engage us, okay? Because uh, the, the same failure make us together, okay? Tiger meaning uh, teamwork, integrity, growth, excellent efficiency, and relationship that make us together in this situation. Many people must work from home. Actually, we don't believe it at the first time. Do you think employee will be productive? But in reality, they are productive. They still can work productive from home. They still act like owner. They learn from our online learning. So meaning, trust your employees. They still want to work the best for the company. On top of the company's efforts, 
Employees also supported each other during this challenging time by looking out for each other and working towards a greater goal. One of the very significant um, things that we did um, in terms of supporting each other was during the early pandemic time whereby we, our customer care team had was basically swamped by lots of lots of refund requests by customers. Even though we are in a different department, but we volunteered to support the customer care so that we can then manage to reduce significantly the customer's request. Within this difficult time, we keep our social interaction virtually to keep our physical and mental health well, especially for the ones who are away from his or her family. Some of my colleagues are collecting money to help our friends' family business loss that is impacted by the pandemic or to help their finance because one of their family members lost a job due to the pandemic. Little things go along the way, checking in regularly to see if everyone is doing well, listening and addressing their worries and needs, basically to show genuine empathy towards the well-being of our colleagues. Despite this crisis, workplace excellence and employer engagement remains important for companies. Such validation is important to motivate employees to do their best and face an uncertain future together. In moments like this, is let's not assume we know. Let's listen carefully to the people. It's a humbling time where no one has ever faced something like this, so we learn as we go. We need to hear from the team members and the involvement of everyone here was tremendous in APL and, and I'm very thankful that we were able to, to take action based on the input of the employees. APL is not only taking care about myself, but also about the whole family. Because APL has provided us the main target silence to keep our positive mind because I think having the positive mind is more and very important for us to increase our body immune and keep our motivations. Even our president director also checking directly our condition and ensure that we are all okay. An HR need, need to have determination and also very good endurance because you cannot just give up in this situation and as an HR we are the heart of this company so we can move people we can just uh, spread the value and the spirit of taking care of each other HR need to be more patient more compassionate because we have to be aware at 24 7 Basically, it's the responsibility for any leader to ensure uh, that the people are safe. Or, you know, someone word is you create the circle of safety. That is the job of any leader. And um, I think in this case, during the pandemic era, there are a couple of uh, threat to the safety. Of course, the physical or health uh, threat, and of course, the psychological component to it. Seeing a lot of negative news, looking into your family members, your friends who are faced with a lot of challenges. It, of course, it has a lot of uh, negative impact to you as well. We just need to ensure that they are connected with our company and the company is actually moving to the right direction and it could be kind of a place to lean on, if you will. So I think it's, uh, uh, it's a very important thing to do as a leader in any organization during this time. It is important that we show that we care and that we have the interests of our employees at heart. That if our employees fail, we fail. And if our employees succeed, we succeed together. Congratulations to all winner, HR Asia Award, the best company to work for 2020. It is our call as HR to always provide the best workplace that fostering employee engagement and excellence culture. And you prove it by winning this award. Once again, I would like to congratulate you for this prestigious work. Congrats! Congratulations to all HR Asia best companies to work for in Indonesia. Thank you for being great models of corporate citizenship as well as paragons for all SMEs out there.
Together, we thrive. Hello, everyone. I'm Alan Wu, and I just want to say, behind every winner is a great story of strength, determination, and perseverance. To all the winners, congratulations. You've made it through a time of great sacrifice and great change. Let's work together to restore normalcy and achieve greater things, because we are all capable of that. Hashtag, together we thrive. Dear Maersk Indonesia team, a big heartfelt congratulations for me for receiving the award of employer of choice in Asia for the second time in a row. It is a real testament to your leadership and to what you're creating in terms of environment to win for our colleagues in Indonesia. I hope you would be contagious with all of your colleagues across the Asia Pacific region to emulate them and make sure that across the whole region we continue to win on the back of engaged uh, uh, colleagues and a great, great place to work. This pandemic can destroy even the best-run companies. But when employers and employees unite in the belief that together they can try, even the impossible can be made possible. When employers plan the path through the storm and employees give their heart and soul to the company, both sides gain faith and strength in the other to push forward. It is very critical to always stay relevant within the industry and competition. Um, and that can be achieved through building the right talent strategy as well as improving our talent capacity and capability to ensure that they achieve their maximum potentials. I have a big faith with BTPN since day one because for the first time I know the BTPN have the same faith with me and the same vision to give him back to the society and to chase the million people in Indonesia. We provide added value for employee through values development program, development current path that accommodate the needs of our employee. We are also trying to create and evaluate our reward system regularly, hence competitive enough compared to other companies within the industry. We started by saying that uh, employee is our biggest uh, asset. That's why we call our uh, department uh, human capital. We set up all the necessary systems making sure that a good modern human capital systems are in place. So now we put them as a foundation. I have strong uh, faith in the company uh, for its long term because we have really strong vision to be the most valuable uh, financial company in Indonesia. So um, I see the way the company treated us during this crisis makes me believe that we can go stronger moving forward. Anytime that you have a challenge, the first question that you ask is, when this challenge is over, how are we going to be? Weaker or stronger? Yes, in some cases, it could be so weak that a big work during the past could become uh, lost during a period of crisis. If you are able to take this opportunity as learning exercise, you know that you will become stronger. So I think that the management team of Novartis Indonesia very early discovered that we had to come together stronger after the pandemic we end. Again, it has not ended in Indonesia, so we are still going through it, but we still see that we are stronger than before. It is important to realize that business will never be the same again. This is not just a health crisis, this is a trust crisis. The new normal will be defined by trust and our ability to inspire confidence and to rebuild faith in the system. It is not a process, it is not products, but it is our people that will be at the heart of everything that we do. We see companies moving ahead with innovative strategies and plans and everyone in the company comes together to sustain the business and to prepare for the future ahead. We have three key drivers for our associates that making them a winner. First one, we call it performance, all about working in a fast pace and also accurate. That's very important. Second one, we call it passion, all about working and striving for excellence. 
last one but also the most important one we call it care it carried gotong royong value it's a local wisdom that we believe in and also respecting others it's not just respecting everyone in the company but also all around the company and community the strategy of AXA, AXA Mandiri in Indonesia is very simple. No, you can. No, because as employees, we need to adapt to the world and we need to continue to learn to progress. You, because you, the customers, you are the only reason for us to go to work every day. Can, because everybody with protection, with health products, is able to realize its dream. No, you can. The teamwork, positive environment, various engagement and develop program are the reason why AXA Indonesia is special to me. Especially the diversity and inclusion program where all of us have the same opportunity to develop our career and to share our voice to support the company. The Alcorn's core values and behaviors on how we work are centered around people and we will continue to operate this way in the future by unleashing the full potentials of our people our people can actually achieve the impossible our response for the future has always been courage where we are brave we are speak up and we are inspired others to be their best. It is ownership, where we are accountable and we always think the business as if it is our own business. It is inclusiveness, where we are authentic and we are welcoming and we are believe in the power of diversity. It is open-mindedness, where we are curious, we are innovative and we are open for possibilities. And it is enterprising spirit, where we are bold always think the big picture and always try to generate values to be able to create sustainable growth. As the COVID-19 pandemic spread across the world, Indonesia has reacted firmly to limit the spread of the disease. In the same vein, many Indonesian companies have shown resilience, commitment, persistence and pure hard work. Therefore, this year, it's even more important for us to honor these outstanding examples of workplace excellence. I think what drives uh, us, uh, Indonesian, uh, is uh, our culture. Uh, it's definitely an important part of our organization. Uh, also, uh, we're in education. Education is uh, the heart of what we do. Uh, we're driven by our passion in education and the spirit of self-empowerment so they can empower others. Our employee already has a positive pride for the legacy of our Indosat long history in Indonesia. We also keeping our focus in personal development and satisfaction, and it drives their engagement and performance. And we wanted to give the employee the sense of purpose that we are here not only to make profit, we are here to support and improve the life of so many people. Every time I change jobs, I always changed industry as well. So this is the first time actually for me working in telecom business. It could be overwhelming, of course, especially because of my role being the PMO, where I'm required to coordinate with a lot of stakeholders and learn very, very fast. But the team, the management, even the HR team have made it enjoyable for me, actually. And they don't hesitate to help and support me. People is the key master of the business. The second part is our vision. Number one is people. Number two is business. It's our must ensure our people is secure. And during pandemic, a lot of our employee feel not secure, will feel uh, scared. So the productivity may impact it about their feel. So it's our job must ensure give some empathy so the business can still going better and better. I'd like to congratulate to all Asia-based company to work for in Indonesia 2020. Congratulations. 
Congratulations to all HR Asia best companies to work for in Indonesia. Thank you for aiming high and raising the bar for all workplaces in the region. Together, we thrive! On behalf of the Global Wellness Council, I would like to say congratulations to all HR Asia best companies to work for in Indonesia. Stay strong, stay well, together we try. COVID-19 has isolated us physically, but it has also made us closer spiritually. We are seeing beyond our superficialities and the inner beauty within. Empathy, care, belonging, compassion, we are capable of all these great things. Don't let anybody take these achievements away from you because together we thrive. Maraming maraming salamat po and I hope to see and meet you guys soon. Assalamu alaikum. Congratulations to all at Team Maybank Indonesia. Five consecutive years winning the best company to work for. Alhamdulillah. Well done. You have raised the bar every year. And now with a gold trophy, the only company in Indonesia to receive this. Well done, team. Many of us are aware that the COVID-19 pandemic has changed the world greatly. For many businesses, it is a change they have to adapt to and embrace. Balancing economic needs with worker safety demand is now the challenge for all. They need to do what is best to protect their workplace and everyone in them, to be ready to face any challenges in the future. Consequently, alongside business continuity, employee engagement should be the foremost in the mind of top management. With engaged employees, activities like succession planning and upskilling can be done in a smooth, effective manner. Hence, in times like this, two factors stand out more than ever in employee engagement, empathy and care. This year, Seeing the importance of employee engagement, HR Asia has launched a new program called the We Care Certification 2020. This program is to recognize companies that have not only demonstrated workplace excellence, but also empathy and care as part of their DNA. Empathy and care are the foundation of ideal human interaction. How an environment can be good ideal and better will be start from these two things and how a workplace can be comfortable, exciting and become an ideal place to learn and grow. By showing empathy and care, yeah, this actually habituate uh, appreciation and respect culture for our employees. So they get used to appreciate each other, respect each other. It's only a question of respect. Respect to the other employees, respect to the customers, respect to the whole society. With AXA, AXA Mandiri, you will never walk alone. This recognition is a reminder that being empathetic and caring in the workplace is a lifetime commitment. Here at our Sinarmas Mining Group, we integrate empathy and care through many ways. This award certainly means a lot to us and will absolutely spur our steps further to go beyond what we have been achieved up to this stage. This award is really meaning a lot for the all my bankers in Indonesia because it's aligned with our employee value proposition, go ahead care, and we want to do more for our communities and for our employees as well. This shows that showing empathy and care is crucial alongside emotional engagement leadership quality, and team dynamics in crafting a collective organization that can truly stand the sternest test imaginable. These are the hallmarks of the We Care Certification 2020. Let's take a look at the companies. This award actually proves that AIA Financial is the company that really cares and values the employees. Thank you very much for this award. This award is a great encouragement for all of us to continue to act for human progress by protecting what matters. I will thanks to the owners, to the all stakeholders and all employees, including family, to make this achievement possible.
caring with togetherness, reaching with every success in the shining future with our families, communities, and nations. In, in Maybank, our vision actually is dehumanizing financial services. Humanizing meaning, empathy, and care. We understand employees, we understand the communities, and then we take care of them. In Astra, we believe that we are not a superman, but we are a super team. We want to continue being an organization worthy of this award, winning it or not. And we thank all of you who made this all possible, all the Bukalapak squad. Thank you. WeCare isn't just a logo that says you're a caring employer. It's a mission statement. It is saying that being a caring employer is in our DNA. In the world of tomorrow, companies that win aren't just the ones with the best strategies or the best execution. Great companies are the ones that care the most. Truly, these are inspiring stories. Together, employers and employees have overcome and thrived, rising above to greatness. As the proverb goes, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Here to give us strength to drive forward, we are pleased to bring you a special performance from an Indonesian born talent. She is Aud Angun while competing in the second season of Asia's Got Talent, where she advanced to the grand final. Since then, she has performed in many shows and captured the hearts of many. Ladies and gentlemen, Angela July. Your story is truly magnificent and serves as inspiration during these extraordinary times. I hope that I can give you positive energy to move forward and achieve greater success.
Remember, hope is all around us. We are all in this as one. Together, we thrive. Sika.com is definitely one of the best companies to work for because it has an amazing positive culture being embraced by everyone in the company from top to bottom. I hope that every one of us can continue cherishing companies and pushing the best for the company school. My company deserves to be um the best company to work for because it has great culture, I must say. I hope that everybody in the team and also in the company can do the right thing. And also they have this willingness to add value in everything that we do. For my Indosat colleagues, congratulations to all of us for winning this award. It's all team effort and thank you for making it an enjoyable, fun learning workplace. This is truly a showcase of pure determination from both employees and employers alike. Their testimony shows the indomitable spirit against any hurdle in their way. These companies have shown commitment towards their employees to be with them all the way in their life journey. This year has shown just how important it is to care and empathize with employees as it is vital to the overall success of the company. We were never alone in this journey. It is through unity that we thrive and rise above the fray. This is what makes the winners this year extra special. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to introduce to you Indonesia's HR Asia, Best Companies to Work For in Asia 2020. Biggest thank you to everyone at MERS who did not just safeguard our supply chain, but also answering that we are there uh, for each other. This success is just another reflection of you, our employees in making our companies today and tomorrow a great place to work. Actually, we never aim to get this award but because our focus in, uh, is only to continue uh, improving. And this is like bonus for us. To all our colleagues, I really appreciate your endless support in good times and in hard times. All of us have demonstrated strong leadership to overcome any impossible situation to be possible and beyond. People, I would like to thank, us, of course, our employees. They make the company a great place to belong. And of course, it's a lot of effort from the HR team as well as from the senior management to ensure that all the employees' uh, you know, expectations are met and we always strive to make this you know, a, a very, very comfortable and good place for people to come to work. Yeah, I would like to thank to the uh, local regional uh, leaders uh, in Asia Pacific and also uh, uh, in Cluster One for Chris Lee and Jennifer Cho for their strong support uh, driving this main initiative to putting the employee first. I would like to thank all employees who live their values and behavior, the right behavior, together with me in delivering what we promise to our shareholders and stakeholders. We would like to say thank you for all employees and management team of Kirana Megatara Group. Thank you, Insan Kirana Megatara. Stay committed for greater and noble company goals. This is the fourth time for Mundi Pharma Indonesia to receive this award. So I would like to thank you to all employees and also to the leadership team uh, for, uh, for all the hard works and also for the support of winning this, uh, this beautiful trophy. For this success, I will say uh, thank you to our stakeholder, 
to our owners, to our employees and families. I personally wanted to thank to all Mandirian, especially BOD, Commissioner, and all level leadership who always be in the intermediation of the taking care of our employee engagement, productivity, and their motivation in delivering contribution. Without their continuous contribution in paying their role as a people manager, Bank Mandiri will not become who this company is now for today. We would like to thanks to Mr. Abdul Ghani as President Director uh, of Perkebunan Nusantara Holding Company, Mr. Wing uh, Antariksa as uh, Director of Human Research uh, Nusantara Perkebunan Nusantara Holding Company, uh, Mr. Uh, Sucipto Prayitno, uh, Director of PTPN4, and all Senior Executive President of PTPN4 for the motivation. I'd like to thank all the Board of Management uh, we are a great team. We work together to transform the PT Pegadian Pesero. We would like to thank HR Asia for presenting videos.com as one of the best companies to work for in Asia. And this award will not be possible without the genuine support from our own team. I would like to thank to all of uh, our employees. Next, I would also thank to all human capital management division members to support company and employees. There wouldn't be any of this uh, without the enduring spirit, commitment, hard work, and determination of our beloved Pinusian colleagues, our faculties, our teachers, uh, our staffs. Uh, a great thanks to all of them. We would like to thank all Triputra Agroprasada family we are using the word family because we believe our employees and their families at home are important part of Triputra Agobersada. This credit is belong to everyone in the company, the employee, the managers, and all the leaders who are involved in the operate, operating the company. I would like to extend a thank you as well to our customers, to our supporters, shareholders, for the relentless support to Conwood Indonesia. I would like to thank First, the great team that we have in uh, APL Indonesia. This is a pleasure to work with this team and we cannot achieve what we have achieved so far without the involvement of every single employee in the company. So this HR Asia Award, which is our fourth award that we receive, is dedicated to almost 4,000 employees of EAT Indonesia. Without all of you guys, it will not be possible to achieve what we have achieved so far. A big thanks also for our colleague in Deloitte Southeast Asia and Asia Pacific, who provide us guidance and provide us with support from time to time. I would like to thank you, all of BTPN employees, board of directors, and also board of management. Thanks to everyone in Kagil, uh, every single individual employees who are out there. We wouldn't be selected to be one of the best employers if everyone is not fully engaged. I would like to present this trophy to all Nakama. Uh, I really want to say thank you and really appreciate all the dedication, the commitment, the belief that you have, uh, and again, the trust that you have given to the company to, to help um, us go through this crisis together. This award has everything to do with us as a team. Uh, it has everything to do with us as a spirit uh, about how we work together, with us as a spirit of how we actually enjoy working together. We would like to thank to the entire team, management team, and those who have always supported us and always worked hard to be able to get this acknowledgement. I feel very proud of this external recognition from HR Asia, and I would like to thank you all for this award or recognition. I would like mainly to thank all the employees of Novartis in Indonesia and the management team this award is an honor for Shell Indonesia in empowering our employees to be part of renewable energy solution in Indonesia. Shell Indonesia is focused on developing its employee to become world-class talents 
with the main goal of powering talent and progressing the nation. I want to thank to all my employees, all my manage, management for their best effort in making this organization successful and bringing it where it is today. It is their energy, it is their talent, it is their hard work to bring benefits in the organization. I would like to thank all of our employees for their contribution. This appreciation is a collective win for all of us that shows that we are on the right track. We think this award is a milestone for what we are working on. For all the families in Kerry, thank you so much for your strength, your courage, your ownership, your authenticity, and your belief. This belongs to you. Keep inspiring food, nourishing life. A big congratulations to our Indonesian associates. We are truly proud of you for being able to put Upfield in the global map as an employer of choice. We are so happy for you and we are excited and we're looking forward to a great ending of the year and also just for us to continue with the same spirit. Of course, for all associates all around Indonesia. I'd like to thank to all HR professionals and managers and leaders for their leadership and to all associates for believing in and working together to make this company a great place to work for. This goes to the customer, and also this goes to all the family, right? I think without the family support, you know, I think none of our staff can, can, can work wholeheartedly here. And also, I want to thank to every one of my employee, family members in, in IBS Med, right? I would like to thank all of our employees all of the leaders and definitely the HR team that has been very supportive to our people. This is our the fifth uh, consecutive years to win this award. And also thank you to the All My Bankers to make this happen. This award is for the All My Bankers in the Indonesia. Every generation has their darkest moment. Our parents and the parents fought in wars and died for our country. This pandemic may very well be our darkest moment. As recipients of this year's awards, you'll be able to look back 20 years from now and tell your children that you did your part in keeping the Indonesian economy going, in putting food on the table of Indonesian families, and in keeping the Indonesian flag flying high in our darkest moment. One of you are our heroes. 2020 has not been an easy year for all of us, but it has been a year for us to learn and be more prepared for what may come in the future. It has also made us closer in the spirit of cooperation to overcome and succeed together. We should not succumb to these challenges, but continue to rise above it. No matter how tough the situation is, as long as everyone stays together, there is nothing we cannot do. Above all, let's always put our employees first, as they are our frontliners in keeping the company and the economy moving. This film would not have been possible without the contribution from hundreds of volunteers over many months. With this, we at HR Asia would like to thank supporting partners, Global Wellness Council, Inclusive Human Resource Indonesia, PMSM Indonesia, our media partners, Capital Asia Magazine, SME and Entrepreneurship Magazine, Human Capital Journal, Inti Pasan. Ladies and gentlemen, stay safe, be strong, and together we try. Together we try. Together we try. Together, together, together we try. Together we try. Together we try. We try. Together we try. Together we try. Together. We thrive! I hate <laughs> camera. Uh, I believe they have... So I have to repeat the question. Sorry, what's the question again so I can repeat? <laughs> Your position in a company, and then just a bit about the company. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. I I silent my phone mobile as well. This is such a good motivation. Mod, oh, I'm sorry.
You know, it's like having my fan group just in front here. It's really funny. Where's your fan group? Every nakama uh, who, who, who we have. Uh, sorry, can I, can I repeat that? <laughs> Undi Pharma is a pharmaceutical company. So, the, the main... Uh, can we <laughs> restart again? Without them, we are nothing. As... <sighs> yeah, bagu. Okay, so, uh, yeah. okay, okay, no problem. Okay. Let's start. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> what do you want the trophy? <laughs> in talent development for other company in the uh, Sorry, sorry, sorry. And I just completely have blank on, on, on my head. I also would like to uh, thank uh, for. <laughs> sorry. So, number two, apa? What number two? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, the future, yeah. Thank you. Future. Leaders also play crucial role too. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Is that okay? Oh, thrive. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. All right. Together, we thrive. All right. This is better. Much better. All right. So, that is. Oh, slow, yeah. There was a very high degree of anxiety. Yes, we had a plan. We're practicing it in a different way. Listen to their stories. This year, the time has not been easy. Feel their struggles. The Learn how some of the biggest companies in Taiwan thrived despite adversity. It's all about the journey.